Welcome to the instructional video on how to enter the information about your prescriptions within the Android application Rx CaseMinder. For the purpose of this instructional video, we have created what could it be a label placed in one of the bottles of a medication that you might be taking. As you can see, we have in this label the name of the pharmacy, the number or the identifier that the pharmacy has assigned to your prescription, the name of the health care provider that has prescribed this prescription, the name of the patient, the dosage, in this case which is um, take two pills every eight hours, the name of the prescription or the active in ingredient which in this case is acetaminophen 650 milligrams no refills so how can we enter this information within Rx case minder in our application in the main menu you will find the button prescriptions you press it and you'll get into this screen we press the add button and we have a screen where we can enter this information first thing would be the identifier which is this same number that's here we're gonna use 43-82-984 now the name of the prescription or the active ingredient The name of the patient, we can select it if already exists. If it doesn't exist, we can create a new record for a new patient. We click and register a new patient and we can uh, get the name, which in this case will be Steve Smith. We press this button in order to enter the day of birth or the date of birth of this patient. We're going to leave the same month, day, but we're going to change the year. It would be October 6, 1986. This is the data to create a new patient. We hit the OK button and now we have all the information that we need, at least the minimum information that we need to create a new prescription. We see that in the label there is no refill. We could add, however, a number of refills but you might probably want to stick to what's in the label. We save the changes and now we have the information about our prescription within our application Rx Case Minder. We can see this uh, list of medications or prescriptions ordered by active, in active prescriptions by patients or patients or by all prescriptions active and not active prescriptions with this we finish our demonstration or instructional video about how to enter the information about your medications within our application rx case minder i hope it's very helpful for you see you next time bye bye